Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I thought I'd just do a br very brief video here, just showing off a couple of my more recent Tamiya builds with these sound kits. The weather outside is really cruddy, <laughs> just uh, pouring down rain, so I can't get outside and film anything. And I don't have a whole lot to review right now. I got a couple drones that I can get to, but that's it. So I wanted to show these off because, you know, I just finished the acro shot and I added a sound kit to it. I haven't actually showed that except for in a YouTube short that I uploaded uh, a few days ago. But if you subscribe to my channel, you've seen the Blitzer Beetle a couple of times and I add the sound kit to it as well. Um, I don't think it was in the original video I did, but the more recent video, which is actually playing on the TV uh, behind me that I just added to the studio. I wanted to see how this looks. Um, adding this either with video or uh, just the channel logo up there to see how it uh, looks. Let me let me know in the comments. Do you like the TV up here behind me, uh, or is it too distracting? So let me know if it's, if it's you know I can change it to just a solid image, and I probably will do that sometimes, and that may be less distracting. So let me know if the video back there is distracting or not. But I just wanted to fire them up and let you guys see because obviously I can't go outside. I mean it's pouring rain outside right now. I just wanted to uh, briefly go over them. If you haven't seen them, if you're new to the channel, maybe you stumbled across one of my more recent Tamiya builds and didn't know about this one. As you can see, I've got other ones here. I've got the uh, um, the Top Force Evo and the Sand Viper and the Lunchbox up here would be my Tamiya builds. I've also got a uh, uh, Durga laying around that's broken that I need to fix. That's why it's not up on the shelf, but uh, that's uh, all the... Uh, the Tamiya stuff that I currently have, I've owned quite a few over the years. Some I wish I kept, like the Dino Blaster. It was broken, and I got married and moved into the first house, and ended up getting thrown away, and I really regret that. But anyway, the Acro Shot, if you saw that, the Acro Shot, I went to 3600 KV brushless motor. Again, these are budget, no name kits, so keep in mind these are not competitive. Um, competitive class electronics I'm using here, especially for the ESC and motor, but uh, it's got this 3600 KV brushless motor in here and one of these 60 amp, I won't take the top off, it's a, one of those 60 amp, uh, um, you know, there's sold by a bunch of it, came bundled with this, Google RC, Surpass Hobby, a bunch of these sell them on eBay and Banggood and AliExpress and Amazon. And it's one of those, they always work good on 2S. I have no problems, that's all I'm gonna run on these on. This one here, I've got the Google RC. I got a little cooling finish you can see attached to it. Uh, this is a 4300 KV, so pretty quick. This actually was originally in the Durga, and the Durga on 3S was so fast that that's why it's been sitting around needing to fix it. I messed up something in the gearbox or belt or something because it was just, you know, it's probably going 50 miles an hour. But this is fine in this, on, on 2S. I wouldn't want to go 3S. This thing would be, I don't think it would hurt it, but it'd be probably uncontrollable on 3S. But, and this one, I did have an originally one of these, and you can't probably see it in here, but I had one of these 60 amp ESCs in here, um, just like in this one, which I, I like those, they're very reliable. But it, uh the fan rattled, I couldn't get it to stop. It sounded horrible. You could even hear it over the sound kit at times. So with one of these cheap, they say 120 amp, they're probably 45 or something. Little blue off-ram ones, and those actually work really well with my program card. So I can program that one. These Surpass Hobby, um, Google RC ones, you need a different card, which I don't have to actually program those. This one works really well, even with this other ESC. And the, the Acro Shot works nice. It's not as quick. Some of that's gearing, but it's also, um, you know, it's a bit more cogging with this one. And some of that can be alleviated with gearing. Some of it's a sensorless, you know, a motor is contributing to that. But um, this one really goes off the gun much quicker than this one is what I'm getting at. And uh, it's just one of those things that you have to deal with when you're using these budget electronics but anyway I just want to fire them up let you guys hear them this one is a wired sound kit it's nothing Bluetooth you have to get in and push on the buttons and change the sound and you can do some calibrations which 
Well, if you do that instruction, if you lose that instruction manual, this is GT power stuff. It's nice stuff, and it is. Uh, <laughs> if you've lose instructions, good luck trying to figure out how to calibrate this. And thank God I found mine because I could not get this calibrated last time when I switched to ESCs until I found that instruction manual. This one is a Bluetooth kit that I actually had in a fly haul truck before. I thought, you know, I don't hardly ever drive that. Let's put it in this. And that one I can adjust it all with the app on my smartphone over Bluetooth, which is really nice. Um, this one's much easier to use. This one also seems loud. I'm pretty sure I have this one all the way up. They use the same speaker though. This one I just turned up about 70% while I go. It's really loud. So when I turn this one on, be mindful. This is not even 100% volume. This one I'm pretty sure is. So let's go ahead and fire up the uh, the Beetle first, and just show you guys. Now this one also. I got the on and off switch mounted here where the Tamiya one would go. Um, and I just threw a little LiPo battery here. It's just not mounted in, in, in it or anything. But uh, yeah, the, the sound kit in this one, um, when you turn it on, and let's go ahead and get the Dumbo RC, which I love these Dumbo RCs. Now we get, we're all bound. Give it a little throttle, the car will move just a tiny bit as it, and then it senses it and it's gonna fire up. Um, it will run a little while and then it will stop. Like if the, you know, just, I don't know if it's a battery saving feature, but if you don't give it throttle, it will turn off the sound kit. But on this one, it doesn't, it just keeps going, which I kind of like, because if I'm filming something and then the throttle, you know, it turns off and all of a sudden, oh, geez, I want that sound back again. Now when you're driving, it's fine, it's just if it sits there like this and you don't do anything. Let's go ahead and just give it a little throttle. And you can select a whole bunch of different sounds. This is the ones that I've chosen. And if I pick it up here and give it some throttle, Go ahead and turn it off now so we can hear. So as you can see, pretty loud, sounds really cool, especially when it's idling. When you give it throttle, it can get a little out of whack and then you can hear that brushless motor and gearing. Um, so it's not as noticeable over it whenever it's running. You can hear it and once it gets going, it sort of roars, but it's really cool when the truck, um, when the Beetle is idling. So that's what I really like it, especially at that. Like, so when I get going, it can get a little bit washed out and it's not as loud as this one. So keep that in mind. And like I said, when it idles, it will eventually turn itself off. But you can switch to these. Again, you have to cycle through the, uh, the buttons on the speaker on this one to uh, cycle through the sounds. And this is the one that I've chosen. A lot of them sound more like really roaring loud, almost like dragsters or a lot of them are, are labeled as, because the sounds are the same, um, like um, stadium trucks and uh, stuff you see in racing circuits that don't really match up that well for what this is. I like the sound of this one, even if it's not perfect for the Beetle. And then the Acro Shot, like I said, I already went over what I got in this one, but I got the on and off switch also mounted in the same spot as the instruction manual suggests. Just uh, using one screw with the little on and off switch and mounting it. Then I'm using my old DHK from the DHK Maximus controller. I put a radio link um, on it that has a gyro to help it you know, stay in a straight line and come out of turns better. But this one, I used this one so I had it laying around. And this one should be good to go. This is a really nice servo. And this one I use more of a budget. Now actually they both have, they both have high end servos. I should say I put a good uh, servo in this one and this one has a really nice one as well. So really good responsive servos. So this one will fire up. This one's a little bit more sensitive. Like this, this one's done 70% volume. And it's, I believe it's a slightly different motor sound. So there we go. And it sounds really cool, doesn't it? Fire it up and idle. Again, this is 70% volume. I think that's a little louder right there. But again, I can crank it all the way up to 100%. In fact, you just take the app. It's this, uh, RC LNS app from GT Power. Let's see if it'll work here. Is it bound up? 
may not be uh, seeing it. It was working a moment ago. Let me kill out the app, open it up. If it doesn't, no big deal, but you can crank it up. It's just waiting for, now it's acting. I think it's connected now. Let's see if I go down. There, see? So it lost the Bluetooth connection that just killed the app out, opened it up. It was the easiest way to get it to look for it again. Here's gonna be 100%. Well, that's all the way up. You can tell that's louder than this one. Let's go ahead and give it some throttle. See, it's pretty close. It's a little bit off on the uh, on the throttle, and I have calibrated it. It's as good as it's going to get. I love the sound. I, again, I like it because of the the um, the the idling, but when you're driving this one, it's gonna be more noticeable when it's outside. And of course, in the initial review, I didn't have this on there and I can't take it outside today to show you guys the sound of it. I think it's cool. It's a bit of a gimmick, I realize that. Not everybody's gonna be a fan of that. I think it's really awesome on this. Probably not as ideal on this, but I love the sound idling. Again, if I get it out and drive it, this one's going to be more noticeable when it's going. It's just getting the RPMs and the mo engine sound to match up perfectly with the throttle on the car. It doesn't always work ideal, but you have to calibrate it, which I did. That helps a lot, but it's not perfect. All right, guys, let's go ahead and turn this one off real quick because that's uh, really loud still. And uh, yeah, that should wrap up this video. I just wanted to kind of go over this stuff. Um, I might go over one of these days, just show you guys all the stuff on my shelves. If you, you know, on a similar day, whenever it's raining like this, if you're interested in that, let me know if you'd like to know. I just need to, you know, some of these cars I get in and I like it, but I don't have a chance to drive it again. Then I, if I get up here and start telling you, oh gosh, what was the model number? <laughs> I need to take notes on a few things here, including maybe one of the boats or something, but you can't see the boats. The boats, I'd have to adjust the camera as well. There's, there's RC boats up here. Uh, there's at least three and there's some Zin Hong and a Vanguard 903 up here and an RC uh, Ripsaw tank behind it I believe they're all up here that you can't see because if I lift the camera up anymore to get the rest then you're not going to see the table and I have to move it farther back and to do that you're going to get a whole bunch more of this cruddy stuff on the sides I'm going to try to if I can find this brick Again, when I ordered it, it's been out of stock. I want to extend this. So this, this, this is just some vinyl print uh, hanging up to make it look like we got a brick wall because this looks cruddy on each side. I hate it. You know, I, I you know, I don't know what to do about the uh, circuit breaker box over here. I'd have to cover it partially or go around it. But yeah, that's the plan. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Do you like the TV up here? Should it be still, or do you like the video? And uh, do you want to know about some of the stuff on the shelves if you're new to the channel and don't want to have to go through all my videos? And just let me know about that. All right, guys, that wraps it up. If you're new to the channel, you like this content, be sure to check out all my other stuff. While you're at it, click the bell and the subscribe button. The bell lets you notify, gives you notification every time that I do upload a new video. Uh, and as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.